Hello there guys and gals and welcome to the second out of three classic installments of the brilliant point and click adventure games from the old LucasArts lads and lady lads. Now this time we are getting it all in Day of the Tentacle Remastered and when I say tentacle I'm sorry for those that like said tentacle entering places we should not speak about. It's not that kind of video sorry. <laughs> Anyway, this excellent game was developed by Double Fine and Shiny Shoe, published by Xbox Game Studios and would normally be available for £9.99, but of course right now is on Xbox Game Pass, so go, 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 go get it, uh, uh, go get it, mm. <laughs> So we play as three characters, Laverne, Bernard and Hoagie, love that guy as we need to save Earth from having tentacles take over, and the way we do that is through the past, present and future. It really is a top game. Now achievements wise, if you've already played through uh, the Full Throttle Remaster, which I've already done, you'd know about certain cutscenes to skip and not skip for certain achievements. Yeah, well you can't with this, you actually have to watch every single cutscene, and there are plenty of missable ones, so pay attention to what items I grab, collect and use, so you don't miss out. Of course I'll be letting you know about certain things when we get there anyway, and we should be getting this within around 2-3 to three hours. But with that being said then, let us begin, so uh, it's probably better to not enable the, de uh, the developers commentary there, but of course that's up to you if you want to hear how this brilliant game was made. Now, the first, just like in the Full Throttle Remastered, the first couple of cutscenes, they do take a while. Obviously, I'm going to be uh, taking a few minutes off said cutscene just to save time in the video. But um, be prepared to be waiting around for about 6 to 7 to 8 minutes. Still brilliant, so at least it's a good cutscene. I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. And so eventually then, after all that, we get to meet all three characters. They're going to go off on their separate ways, and we're going to start playing as Bernard, who has the Simon Cowell get-up with some extra glasses there. Looks, looks delightful. Very offensive towards nerds, I expect, but there we go. And this is how you get to play the game. It is different from Full Throttle, as to open the inventory, we need to press Y, and what we have to do is click on something and then you've got a whole bunch of options. Now what we'll usually be going for is either picking up or using said item. So on the window there you've just seen the um, pick up the flyer and the sign. So you've got to pick up on the item and they'll have about four or five different options and we either have to use it or pick it up. So make sure to pick up the dime, the flyer and the sign out of the window there. And then for our first achievement, again, this uh, we need to ring this bell or ding ding dong this bell a hundred times this is going to take around maybe four five six minutes or so again i cut it out of the video just to save a bit of time but all you got to keep doing push service bell and the achievement should unlock but the whole thing is easy to get used to after you know after just a couple of minutes or so but you're pressing a to click on an item and then you have to either like i said give or use. They are the main two aspects of the options that we'll be using, either giving items or using items. And now I can shut up about it, I think I've said that about five or six times. So go ahead and open up the office door by uh, using the A button to click on it and then pressing use door. And you don't actually have to do anything here, you can just walk straight through the door. <laughs> As for some reason it took me uh, a few seconds to figure out. So on the desk then, straight away pick up the Swiss handbook. And then have a look actually in the desk. So open up the desk and grab the Boo Boo Be Gone. I tell you what, if it was actually called Poo Poo Be Gone, it would make a whole lot of new parents with newborns a hell of a lot easier. Poo Poo Be Gone. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, look at the grandfather clock, open it up, and then just click on it again to dive inside. We're going muff diving, baby, and we get another achievement for it. By the way, there are 58 achievements in the game, which I forgot to mention, so 
will be getting a lot. You'll be hearing that sweet, sweet sound of achievement pop in quite a lot. And here is our second sort of long-ish cutscene. Again, I'm going to um, take a bit of uh, time out of the video. But when we get to this point, we're sort of coming towards the end. I just like this bit because Hoagie careases me. <laughs> Man, you cannot beat a cool dude who cannot see rocking out like that. Also, by the way, you can actually skip the dialogue quickly by just pressing the A button. The skipping the dialogue doesn't matter, it's the cutscenes that you've got to watch. Chief Mayor, get out of my house! Let's... So, Elmer Fudd appears to have gone from the Looney Tunes cartoons then into being a sort of professor doctor in this game. He's obviously needing some work and some money, but that's okay. We all need it. Uh, now, head to the right. Uh, Elmer Fudd, Dr. Fudd is going to go upstairs. Obviously, that's not his real name in the game, but that is funny. And there's a piece of paper on the right-hand wall. Make sure to pick up that paper, and then another cutscene will begin. <laughs> because uh, Fudd comes from nowhere. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed? Yes! Down the top? No! Using the highly sub... Plus small in an... Hello, Dr. F Drat. Did you hear something? No. Oh, great. Okay, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? I want to bring... Great, great... Gr you need the plan. Okay, okay, if you say... Good boy. Does he have... Um, didn't he... Well, he... So this is the main mechanic in the game, then, where we can send things basically through a toilet to the past, the present, and the future. But what we're going to do first is just wait around for a minute or so until Hoagie... Uh, don't move at all. Basically, Hoagie's going to burp right there, and then he's going to eat a Hoagie, which will unlock another achievement called uh, Cannibalism, I believe. Which, again, is another top joke, really. There he is. One mouthful, dude. Dude, it's like cannibalism. So, <laughs> there we go. And then, if you want to go back to the past, present, or future for every character, you can just press right or left on the D-pad, or you can press Y on the inventory, and as you've seen, the character will be on the right-hand side, as you can see where Hoagie is right now. But what, what you need to do then is we'll be sending a flyer to Hoagie. So, click on the flyer, click on the Use Flyer option, and then go all the way to the right, and then press A again, and that will actually give the flyer to Hoagie. So you don't actually have to be stood next to a chrono toilet, John. You can do it at any point during the game. So you, so that's how you get rid of some things. You click on the use option and then put it over to the character on the right hand side. And make sure to give Big Hoagie the help wanted sign as well. And we are now done and dusted, so click on the upstairs, and guess where we go in? Upstairs, yes, congratulations, you win nothing. Anyway, so we'll climb out of the grandfather clock and we'll head up the stairs again. And then uh, click on the W door right next to you, the door with the W sign on it, and we're going to be not perving, luckily, thank God for that, because this guy, damn. But we're going to turn on the television, and then we're going to turn it off, and that will unlock us another achievement. And there it is. Energy contrast, that's very nice. Uh, now, close the door, that'll get us another achievement for closing a door for the first time. That's pretty much invisible, but we need it to get the keys anyway, so make sure to pick up the keys. Do not look at the guy's butt crack on the way out, because those trousers are obviously too small for him. I think he's trying to compensate or something. Now, uh, you may get this, basically this is just, uh, <laughs> again, a hilarious bit of newspaper. You may get it at random times, or you may get it at the same time that I do. Anyway, click on the next door, which has the R letter on it. 
and we're going to see a guy who is quite disturbed. Going to try and shoot himself and hilariously doesn't, so unlucky, mm -hmm. Mecca. I can't even do this. But while this guy's in a bit of turmoil, go ahead and grab the disappearing ink right on the table next to you by the door and then open up your inventory with the Y button again and then use the uh, use the boo boo be gone with the disappearing ink it doesn't work but it does unlock us yet another achievement so bring them on and then the universe implodes hmm. that sounds quite unfortunate actually <laughs> but click on the door and we're gonna head back out now and then click on the door with the F letter on it right next to you again and then go ahead and head through now this one is it can be a bit annoying not the achievement itself because it's easy enough but what we have to do we can say see you later to this technical guy you know luckily he's not inside anyone so we haven't disturbed anything but what we need to do is push the speaker on the ground and then turn on the stereo but you cannot throughout the entire game turn this speaker off so pick up the videotape on top of the uh, sort of VCR right there, or the speaker, and then click the on-off button. But to get the... Uh, push it, of course. And again. <laughs> to get the achievement, like I said, um, you cannot turn it off at all through the entire game. So when you're Bernard going through the present, this will be the music throughout the entire game. So you can either just turn the volume down, or... You know, whatever. But head up the stairs and then open the door on the right-hand side anyway. And we're going to be seeing Dr. Weird Edmonton. So you can just click on, so what are you up to these days? And then when the next dialogue option comes up, say, well, don't get too excited. Goodbye. And we are going to need this guy's stamp book for another achievement and another item. So what we need to do then, press Y to get your inventory up. Click on the disappearing ink. And what we're going to do is use said disappearing ink on his stamp book. So what you can do is click the use button. And then you can just click up a couple of times. And that will sort of get off the inventory automatically. Use it with the stamp album. And man, he going to be tamping. Neat, huh? Uh. My Pony Express, you ruined. Get out of. Jeez, what a. What? Negative feelings. By the way, Bernard's got a hell of a big head in this game. He gets smashed with all sorts and uh, carries on going. But we're going to pick up the stamp album and pick up the stamp, so make sure to grab them too. And then just go back through the door that we came. And what we're going to be doing, of course, is giving Weird Ed Edison his uh, stamp book back. And that will give us another achievement. But, of course, we have got a stamp with what we need, which is what we need. So, there we go. We've got that one. And now what we need to do is get your inventory out and then click on the textbook, the first one, and then use the textbook with the stamp album. That just basically gets us yet another achievement. Hey, go ahead, pick up the hamster, and boy, is this hamster going to be having a lot of journey through this game. Luckily, not up anyone's butthole, though, so we can be thankful of that. <laughs> right, so use the disappearing ink again, and what we're going to do is use it on Weird Ed Edison this time, because we need to use disappearing ink on five people. There are more, there's plenty of people about in the game, so don't worry about that if you do end up missing one. But make sure just any person that we come up to use the uh, use the ink on it. Sorry, the guy's voice creases me. So next we're going to look at the computer and we're going to use computer. And we're going to be playing a game called Maniac Mansion. Now there's only two achievements related to playing this game. But it does take a few minutes to have to go through it. This is basically an old LucasArts, you know, way back bloody when... It might have even been sort of one of their Jesus. first one of their first games that ever came out. But again, it plays a little bit different to what we are playing at the minute. So we get the achievement for playing as it at the first time. Pick the first two characters and the girl, the red-headed girl, uh, sort of towards the right, the penultimate one. 
there is a difference in the characters, but I cannot remember why. But just clicking them three will make your life a whole lot easier. So then, how this plays is you will have a whole bunch of options underneath this as soon as you start. So you don't have to click anything now. You can just press the A button on the sort of left hand or right hand side of the screen, which is all good. But instead of actually clicking on an item and then having options come up, we've got the options underneath us. What we need to do then is click on the pickup option. Now you have to do that twice because as you can see there, uh, the sort of pink right in you basically have to pick um click on it twice until it says pick up then you got to click on the doormat or whatever you want to pick up and then it'll pick it up so again click pick up make sure the pink right in says pick up then click on the key and then you can actually click on the key and then we've got to um use the key you can't walk to the key <laughs> so we've walked to the front door but you need to now click on the use option and then click on the key option underneath and then use it on the door. But obviously it's it, it takes a little bit to get used to, but you've actually got to click the A button twice on something that you want to use. So it just says that one thing and it's not pissing about. So we finally got into the house anyway, finally. And the first thing we're going to be doing then is opening up the door, which is right in front of us. It is, it is a little bit weird to get used to, but it, it is easily used to. We'll only be playing this for about five minutes or so. So you keep walking to the right, and we're going to be taken over by my ex-girlfriend. And when she goes off to be annoying, then we can click on the new kid option, and then click on Razor. Razor, what a name. Razor. So, and it, of course, since it's the female, I suppose we go, Razor! I have a terrible female voice. Anyway, we can just go straight through the door anyway. We'll be playing as Razor quite a bit. We're going to head through the kitchen door where our other friend just went. And go to the right. Go to the right. Ignore the blood-stained fridge there. That's obviously not dodgy at all. Click open. And then open up the door. And then, of course, just walk to the right again. And again... Well, that's some good-looking turkeys, probably poisonous, though. And then another cutscene is going to happen. Anyway, after that disturbing little scene, walk to the right, and we're going to be opening up this door as well. Which, I mean, you can see how annoying this can get when the cursor is quite slow to move as well. But we need to pick up the fruit drinks, which are on the bottom of this shelf right here. And it's going to... We're going to be giving it to something pretty weird. Uh, so again, we're just going to walk all the way back out to the left, out of the door... And this time we're going to be heading up the old, the old wooden stairs. As soon as you get out of the uh, deadly ass kitchen. 
There we go. So don't walk outside. We don't need to go outside. That was just me uh, being impatient. But we are going to be heading up the stairs now. And just keep going. And just keep going. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Come on. And then walk to the left, first of all. We do need to pick up another item to give to said weird thing. So open up this door on the left-hand side of the blue one. And there is a fruit basket right in front of us. Again, ignoring all the other weird, uh, acidy, dead body stuff or whatever's going on in that room. It's just a fruit basket that we need. So go ahead and actually go into the blue door. And then go to the right... Go to the right and then up these set of stairs. And then go to the left. And this is where we actually need to give a tentacle. A tentacle will not allow us to pass. So we actually have to click on the give option and then give the bowl of wax fruit. So make sure it says give bowl of wax fruit to green tentacle, which is weird. And then also do the same with the fruit drink. So give fruit drinks two green tentacle and then ugh, whatever makes him happy yo <laughs> he's chilling he's chilling behind the plant now so happy days for us we're just going to walk up the stairs again now this next bit is slightly timed as in we have to so go through the first door there and now what we can do is click on the new kid and go on to that says side that's not Sid. Sid is S-I-D. That says side. So click on side. And all we're going to be doing is actually pushing the doorbell. So this guy doesn't really do anything <laughs> throughout the entire game, to be honest. Um, so make a save right here. Um, purely because, again, this is slightly timed. So we have to wait around 30 seconds until the guy goes downstairs. Then we have to rummage through his room. Go back to the room and then wait around 30 seconds again around 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that he's back in but it'll all make sense now so click on the push option and then click on the doorbell which isn't on the side of the house it's on the middle of the door and then click on the new kid straight away so we have to be doing this quick the hamster is what we're after and there's a piggy bank with some money in it but again we're not going for that for some reason so click on new kid go to razor Wait around sort of 10 seconds, 20 seconds or so, and he should be gone. So now go to the right. Go to this th uh, third door. So click open and click open the third door. Go in and then immediately pick up the hamster which is behind you. So it, again, you've got to be quite dead on with where you're putting the cursor. But as soon as you pick up the hamster, this cutscene can play at any time depending on how quick or slow you are. But as soon as you... Basically, he's on his way back up now. So as soon as you see this cutscene, we need to go. So pick up the hamster and just go back to the first door that you were in. And just enter. And now, like I said, we can wait here for around 30 to 40 seconds or so. That just gives us plenty of time. Again, if you want to, you can make another manual save here. Just in case you go out and get caught and you don't have to do that little bit again. It's completely up to you. So just have a look at the, uh, that's a nice looking poster of uh, my ex-missus there. I, I don't know why she'd want a picture of herself up for, it's a bit vain, but there we go. So after around, like I said, 30, 40 seconds, we can go out and then go down the stairs. We are basically almost done with this part of the game, finally. And it, it's pretty, um, it's pretty deadly of why and what we need to do to get the achievement. That's all we're doing this for. So run, run, run with the little with the little stick arms. Me. And then head downstairs. Keep heading downstairs. We're basically going back into the weird blood kitchen now. Which is of course the all the already open door to the, your left. And the microwave is our main thing. So open up the microwave oven, which is just above the regular oven. And <laughs> we need to use, or we need to uh yeah, use the hamster in the microwave oven. You can already see where this is going. Uh, it's not going to end well for the hamster, I tell you. Uh, we can't actually turn on the hamster. That's disgusting. That is um, sex with animals, and that is wrong. So close the microwave oven first. And then turn on the microwave oven, and then say goodbye. Make sure no kids are watching this, because he goes splat. He goes splat, but we get another achievement. And uh, we, we can finally just exit this game. But that's all we were in there for. Just to kill a poor little hamster. And by the way, I said turn on hamster because it said turn on hamster on the 
on the dialogue, but that's fine. So we're going up the left side stairs now as soon as we get back as Big Bernie. And then have a look. Uh, open the door on the right hand side. I was going to say use the people, but there's nothing in there to use the people. So open the door again, again. And then climb out through through the old window. And then what we'll actually be doing, we're going to be going. Uh, you pick up the crank first of all. And then just go back through the window. And then what we'll just be doing, heading back down the stairs, but not all the way down. So through the old trap and door and housing. Down the old stair and housing. And then just to the left of this candy machine. Candy machine, there is going to be a freezer, so don't go anywhere yet. Or the, uh, sorry, ice machine, apologies. And what we're going to be doing is pushing the hamster, or using the hamster, sorry. And putting him in the ice freezer. Now again, you may think this is harsh, but don't worry my friends, he will be fine. He ain't going to go splat, I promise. <laughs> but he will be frozen for a bit. Eh, you big fanny with your purple hand. So anyway, head back down the stairs now. We are good for this point. Again, do not worry about the hamster. But keep heading to the left. And what we're going to be doing first is picking up some fake sick or fake barf. As it is. So that will come in handy a lot later on. And what we're going to do is open up the door or use the door, whatever it is. It's all the same thing. And we're going to head outside. Now, have a go, and actually, we need to be talking to Dead Cousin Ted. So make sure to talk to him. Basically, there's an achievement for having all three characters talk to Dead Cousin Ted. Uh, so, obviously, just make sure to talk to him first. And also use the disappearing ink on Dead Cousin Ted. So there's that bit, now we can just walk over to the right and we're going to see this guy trying to break into this car for some reason, I don't know why this car, but now we'll be able to use the keys and use it with the man in the ski mask. Um, again, you know, the, the wheels ain't even on properly and everything, so, and it's all dirty and stuff, so I, unless <laughs> there's got to be some drugs in there, isn't there? <laughs> anyway, use the disappearing ink on the guy as well, or the man in the ski mask. And that should be the third out of five now. So we've only got two more left to do. So we can head back to the motel. And we can go ahead, head inside, yes. Sorry, I'm literally just trying to think. Why would he be trying to rob that car? I don't know. Maybe it's like heroin or something. Maybe he's just a heroin addict. But that's cool. That's cool. Now use the crowbar. <laughs> I don't judge, you know. With the gum with dime stuck in it. And what we're going to have to do is actually use the uh, gum with the dime stuck in it and Bernard Bernard being the dirty bastard that he is is going to start chewing it to get the dime you make me sick so anyway now we are done with that we can open the door behind us the main door and head in by the way how's your ears with this music constantly going good annoying Good, I know. Bloody annoying, right? <laughs> anyway, open the grate in by the fireplace right there. Head over and talk to the salesman. And then we could just basically say, uh, you know, goodbye. We don't need to talk to Spitty McFace over here. I want, <laughs> I want the news, not the weather, foamy. And you see the teeth chatting, the Vato, the vato teeth? That'll sort of uh, automatically go down. Now, we basically have to chase it into the grating that we just opened up. So... Try and get it sort of to it to so it you're on its left hand side. Sorry, um, he can take a little while. He can be a bit of an a bit annoying to be honest, but he shouldn't ever go through the door. At least I don't think he does. So just chase him into the great inn, and he'll go down there eventually. And there he is. So now we're good. We can pick up the trapped teeth. <laughs> So that's a rap sheet thief achievement, and now we can go through the swinging door and pick up the fork immediately on the table. 
So there'll be a lot of um, uninteresting items that we need to pick up just for achievements. Now we need to be grabbing both the coffee pots. They're going to come in handy a little bit later on. And to get an achievement called and the universe then exploded instead of imploded, go ahead and try to use the regular coffee <laughs> with the decaf. And uh, that never usually works because coffee tastes like pure piss anyway. Coffee's disgusting, mate. Uh, anyway, we're going through the door. Not the swinging door, but the door to the right of that swinging door. Door, door, the door, door. Uh, go ahead, look inside the cabinet. We're going to open that. And what we're going to find in there is a little funnel. Pick up the funnel. And then finally what we need to do is send over the stamp to Hoagie, uh, the textbook to Hogo, and the poo poo be gone to Schmogol. So yeah, it's the, uh, so send over the stamp, the textbook, and the boo boo be gone to Hoagie, and then you can either, like I said, click on Hoagie to go into the past, or you can just press right or left on the D-pad when you're out of your inventory. So then, now we can finally play as Hoagie, at least for about a minute or two anyway in the past. So you can look at the kumquat tree, that will come in handy for an achievement later on, but for now, just head all the way down to the inn. Go in to the inn, no, we're not going into the inn, but when we, when we get here, see the carriage, walk to the left of the old carriage, and there's going to be a mailbox for us, so don't go in the inn. Go to the mailbox, open it up. It's closed. Alright, thank you. Thank you for that, Professor Obvious. Captain Obvious, so pick up the letter, go into your inventory, and then send that same letter over to Bernardo. And then that's basically it for this point, so we can just switch back over to Bernardo now. So, once we're back with Bernard, don't worry, we will be playing as the other two for quite a bit a little bit later on. But what we're going to do now is head out the door and then head back upstairs. Basically to the same guy that wanted to kill himself for some reason. And that reason is we're actually going to find out now. So when we're up here, remember it's the door with the R letter on it there. Even though it's wide open, it's actually just a jar. Which is annoying. Yeah, poor you. You've got a weird haircut. Just like me, I'm balding. Anyway, we're going to give the letter now, so we're going to use the letter, and we're going to use it with Dwayne, Balding Dwayne. And he's going to go, eh, well, I don't know what it is. I think it's something to do with winning the lottery, or something which makes him all rich and stuff, so he's like, <laughs> bruh. Although, can you pick it up 40 years too late, or whatever? Anyway, who cares? He's gone, we can now pick up his flag gun. But imagine, imagine being that silly where you think you're buying a real gun and you end up buying a flag gun. Man, his head must have been screwed on the old wrong way. So now we're going to head back downstairs. And we're going to head back into this sort of main area there with the double doors. Where the, where the, uh, the cigar salesman is and the clown and the place where we got the chattering teeth. So once here then, what we need to be doing is actually trying to get... This guy's cigar lighter, which is shaped like a gun. So go ahead, go into your inventory and get the flag gun out. Use it, and then try to switch it with the uh, cigar lighter. Look, grab it. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Uh, walk over here, sort of where the vato teeth were. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is just using the disappearing ink on... This guy's hilarious looking face. You didn't expect me to fall for that. Next up, now we have to talk to the cigar salesman. Basically, what we're going to need is that novelty item of his. Well, the cigar. So go ahead and talk to him. And then when the dialogue options come up, choose nice cigars. And then next, choose Shaw. Lay one of those Havana babies on me. Bernard really doesn't look like he uh, smokes. And look how cool this guy thinks he is by doing that with a lighter. That is, that small penis syndrome that is. Where you think you're cool because you got a lighter gun. And it's not cool. Okay, so just don't get one. 
Unless you've got a small penis, then it's up to you. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> now, just talk to him one more time. And then the achievement should unlock. It might unlock a little bit before that, but we don't have to say anything. So now we can run away. Get away from this uh, guy with a small wang who thinks he's awesome with his little fire gun cigar. Anyway, now use this exploding cigar and give it to Hoagie. And then with the cigar lighter then, we can actually use that and also give that to Hoagie as well. So the two items that we've just picked up, give them both to Hogo McShlogo. Also with the last one, use the disappearing ink, give it to Hoagie as well. And then we can just nip back into the past and actually go into the into the inn. Yes, I'm a rapper and I did not know it. Now, close enough. And so once we're inside, don't forget to talk to the mummy, who sort of acts like dead Cousin Ted, and there will be one that we need to speak to in the future as well, so you don't actually have to speak about anything, just say, later dude, and then open the door. This is basically the exact same inn where Bernard is, if you couldn't tell that already. It's exactly the same layout, just with different stuff. So, uh, use the disappearing ink again, I believe this is the fifth time now, but use it with Big Hancock. Or Big Small John Hancock, whatever you want to call him. Yes, that was. So that was the fifth out of fifth one. Again, there are other people, as you can see, you can use it on the other two. Uh, George Washington and uh, Big Dude right there. If you haven't got it yet. So now what we need to do is use the flyer, the one with the sort of, it kind of looks like a hoover. Um, but it's to the left of where the three guys are right here. And put it in the suggestion box. Uh, box. I'm just going to say three guys because it just makes it easier. Uh, so yeah, use the flyer with the suggestion box. And then what we can do now is, well, it's going to happen automatically. I say, does it have? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion. Sure. Yes. Excellent. What? Perhaps he intends to suggest some. Oh. Ah. Oh. It says, what? Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's strange. I don't quite, well, I, if there are, no? What's a vacuum? So there we go, we've now got a USAC vacuum, which is always nice. Comes in handy. So now go through the swinging door, pick up the oil and pick up the spaghetti on the shelves right there and then go to the right door, uh, not the swinging door, the door to the right of that, which is the door door. Pick up the bucket right next to you, be careful for the urine, not the hoagie mine, he looks like he smells of urine, no offence. And then in the cabinet pick up the brush and then we can go ahead now and use that brush and give it to Big Bernard back in the present. I suppose it looks like the future from Hoagie's point of view, but it is the the present. So with the bucket then, we're going to use that, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to use it with the water pump on the left hand side. Obviously, because there's nothing else you can <laughs> use a bucket with. Well, actually, urine, I just said. Anyway, we're going back to Bernard now. So again, uh, right or left on the D-pad. And then we can just head out through the door. No, not the frou-frou diamond. Hilarious. I don't know why frou-frou is just... It's an exquisitely, fantastically hilarious word. Anyway, outside, we're going to go back to where the... Uh, remember where the car was, with the guy breaking in with the ski mask? Use the brush that Hoagie sent over. Use it with the dirty car for another achievement. It literally serves no purpose than to get us another achievement. And all we're doing now then, we've just tried to wash that filthy stinking car, the brush is disgusting, so what we're going to do is send it straight back to Hoagie. <laughs> so there we go, don't wash it first, just stick it straight back down the toilet to Hoagie, and it's going to be covered in like dirt and poop and stuff. Hoagie is going to be fuming, unless he thinks it's breakfast. Anyway, we're going back inside the inn now, and then we're going to just switch back over to big Hoagie Bear. 
Hoagie Bay. <laughs> Back through the swinging door we're going for Hoagness. And now what we're going to do is go back down the grandfather clock. So it's in the exact same location as it is in the present with Bernard. We're going to go and see Elmer Fudd and from Looney Tunes and see what he looks like a couple of years ago. But actually, <laughs> nice butt crack, by the way, Hoagie. Cheers, butt. <laughs> Cheers, butt. Yeah, Welsh people say butt instead of mate because we're cooler, apparently. So grab the left-handed hammer off the uh, table right in front of him and then go into your inventory and use the patent application with Big Red Ed because his name is Red Edison and, you know, we're going to cool him up a bit by calling him Big Red Ed. Although it kind of sounds like his penis has problems. Use the Help Wanted sign also with Big Red Head and that will get us an achievement called Moronic Drone. Last thing we need to do, pick up the lab coat and we can go back upstairs. <laughs> Big red Ed. Mate, you want to see a doctor about that? No good, no good. So next thing we're going to head up the stairs, we're going to cause some mayhem in these, uh, in these doors. So the first one on your right there is George Washington's bedroom. So go ahead and use George's bed. That's going to sort of rough it up a bit. And then pull the cord which is to the left of the door. So you don't have to pull George's bed. That's, that's, <laughs> you don't literally have to. But pull the cord. That's going to give the maid in here. Nice mouth, by the way. I don't know why you speak like that, but that's fine. Quickly, go out of the door and pick up the soap, which is off the maid's cart, which will be kind of directly behind you. But you'll have to do it quick before she comes out. You get about, I'm sure you get about 30 seconds to a minute or so. Go into your inventory, use the soap with the bucket of water, and now you get a bucket full of soapy water, as is... Yeah, as that's what usually happens. So go into the right-hand side door now. Not the middle one. We're going to go into the right-hand side door. And pick up the wine bottle now. This is um, Benjamin Franklin's room. And we're going to come back here a bit later on when he's back. So we're going to head up the stairs right now. And the first thing we're going to do then. This horse for some reason has dentures. I don't know why. But it's what happened back in the day, you know. So use the textbook. Uh, textbook with the horse, that's going to send him to sleep, he's going to put his dentures, <laughs> hilariously, <laughs> he's like, bruh, nah, not feeling this, uh, but now we can pick up the <laughs> dentures anyway, it's such a brilliantly written story this game, and uh, we also get Rap Sheet Kleptomaniac as well, as long as you've been following along with the video, if not, you will get that um, in a little bit anyway, but go into the room opposite the horse, and what we, need, what we need to do is basically, when the guy puts his hammer down, we need to switch the hammers. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost... Or the mod... Sorry, hope I... Too late. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath must... I don't say... Father was... R Dear brother, we must be strong. Why don't you... Have a cappuccino? I'm glad we... I think you're coming up. So in the present then, we now have a statue, so you see what happens with a screw around in the past? It kind of messes up the future, maybe in a good way though. But anyway, out of the door, we're heading upstairs now, and we need to get that mouse that the cat is playing with. So go ahead, use Ned's bed, and you're going to see, he's going to squeak because Hoagie's got a big old ace, and the cat's going to go to it. Now, of course, we need to get him over to the other bed. It's a kind of a time section, so use Ned's bed with the mattress in the back, and a little cutscene's going to play out. But, of course, we need the cat to go away a little bit further so we can actually pick up the mouse before he comes back. Drag. Cat's caught a moose up there. 
and that's the reason that we've done that then. So now we've got the squeaky mattress over on Jed's bed. We can use the squeaky mattress over here. As soon as the cat starts going away, quickly go down on the squeaky mouse toy and pick it up. And that should give us plenty of time to go and grab that. Next, pick up the red paint, which is just by the uh, entrance there, or the exit, whatever, the stairs. And then try and use the Boo Boo Be Gone with the red paint. Again, that serves no purpose other than unlock us another achievement. Because apparently it'll turn it pink, and Hoagie doesn't like pink, man. Nah, no, because he, he like black. He like black hair and black t-shirt and black boots and stuff. I don't know what the hell the accents are about today. My apologies. So, what we're going to do now is um, head back up the stairs. Don't go downstairs, sorry. We're actually going to climb through the window. As you can see, Hoagie's big old butt crack again. <laughs> and then we're actually going to just pff, nip down the chimney. Again, you know, the, the uh, physics of gameplay is just, it's non-existent, which makes it all the more extraordinary. So head out the door and head out the main door again. And what we're basically going to be doing now is going back to the start point where the Chrono John Toilet Majon is. So it's past the carriage, up the field, uh, just click sort of up where the uh, Chrono Majono is. But we're not actually going to be doing anything apart from using the red paint with the kumquat tree. And yes, I over exaggerated on the word cum because the kumquat tree is an hilarious fruit. Kumquat. Anyway, we're creating a cherry tree now. It's it's cum cherry. Cherry cum flavor. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, but now we can actually just give the red paint to Bernard when we're done with that. So paint the tree red and then give the rest of the red paint to Bernard. Uh, now our next point of pointnesses sorry I lost my words for a minute we need to be going back into the inn and we need to actually go ahead and talk to big George Washington So, George is looking out the window, looking all uh, relaxed, so rancho and things. So, the first thing we're going to do is say, Whoa, you're like George Washington. And then next, say, My name's Hoagie. <laughs> and uh, now just say, Is it true about you and the cherry tree? And then for the final one, say, I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut it down a tree to save your grandmother. Which is quite harsh using your grandmother in a bargaining chip like that. But what that's going to do is basically gonna, he is going to chop it down and that's going to get us the achievement with one fell swing. I'm stuck. Well, you're yes. So, Squirt a World of the Past has basically screwed up Laverne a little bit because she's now going to be in future prison. As you can just see, tentacles have taken over the earth, and that is where we'll be going. So what we're going to do is just, with Hoagie, head back to the inn, and then we're going to switch to Laverne for the first time. So get him back in the main area with cold, big, small cock there. Uh, John Hancock, sorry. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Get me? I haven't done it. Well, you must have done something. You'd be out in the lobby with your ten of Owner? No one. Gosh, no owner. Well, no. I'm sure some. Damn that. Do hey, she knows the. So, after that, then, when we are here, look at the switch on the door. Uh, use it to push. No, we can't. Obviously, quite, can't quite get there. There's an invisible force field screwing us around with Laverne, who basically is on pills throughout the entirety of her life. You By the looks of things, that? she's off her nut. Uh, talk to the technical Ooh, guard and say, I Ooh, I don't feel so good. It's because your jaw's on the floor, hun, and your eyes popping out of your skull. But that's okay. Everybody's been there. So basically, what we need to do is grab the chart what the tentacle is looking at. Oh, of course. Darn. Do you want... Um. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? 
What? Just as I suspect. What? There's nothing wrong. What a let... Well, I'm late. Oh, sit. And so even though you are a prisoner, he just sort of leaves you be. Happy days, so pick up the tentacle charts. <laughs> Uh, not, not very good, these tentacles. They probably don't have a brain since they just look like literal penises. So go through the door and then upwards to the kennel. And he's gonna... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna tell us to get back in. Yeah, no harm, no foul. Uh, but what we need to do is talk to the guard again and say, Oh, I have to go to the bathroom this time. This is the only way we can get outside. We need to get back to the Cron John the Toilet Magon to send off this tentacle chart. Take a walk. Okay, you. And once again, he sort of just takes a sit down while he says, you know, go and do your business. Although I suppose you do want to do it behind a tree. But that's not the reason we're coming back here. So what we need to do is give the scalpel to Bernardo. So flush that down the toilet as well, watch out for the poop on the way down, and grab the tentacle chart and use that and give it to Hoagie. And then what we can do is just basically go straight to Hoagie anyway. Here we go then. So, back with Hogness. Now, uh, for this part we don't actually have to be in this room, so we're going to head back out of the door. We're going to head upstairs and go into the unopened bedroom that we didn't go in earlier, which was in the middle. As you can see, it's still unopened. So, being Captain Obvious, let's go ahead and open the door. Walk yourself in, and it's basically the flag maker. So, obviously, choose the only dialogue option there, and then choose, could it have a chrome plated with a bit of robot on it? And then she's like, yeah, Q. Yeah, Q, screw it, screw it, I'll do it. So, all you need to do then is get the tentacle chart, and then use it with all the sort of at the bed with all the other sort of patterns and stuff on it over there make sure to use it with the patterns and then that will change i'll change the flag from the american one to a tentacle one and it'll get us the achievement win socket to me now what we'll be doing then is giving a few items over so first of all give the can opener to laverne and then next what we're going to use is the uh, spaghetti so you don't actually have to, it's not the exploding skigar, <laughs> it's the spaghetti, so use the spaghetti as well with Laverne. Now there is a method to our madness of course. Next, use the dentures, give them to Laverne as well. Man, imagine getting them, they've just been out of a horse's mouth. <laughs> and next, give the squeaky mouse toy to Laverne as well. Again, it's all going to come in handy, all come in handy it will. So the squeaky mouse toy... Give it to the uh, pale head at the bottom there. No, joking. She, she does look very maniacal, doesn't she? And then use the booba be gone with Bernard. And then that's all we're doing for now for Hoagie at this point. So we can now switch back to Bernard 2. Back in the main area now, we can finally defeat this creepy ass clown by using the scalpel with it. So there you go. Scalpel. Use it with Boozo the clown. And that is that. I mean, there's probably a whole bunch of sharp objects in the present, but there we go that we could have used. But anyway, we're all good. So we need to pick up the laugh box that comes out of Boozo the Clown. And then we're going to use the box of laughs and send it to Big Laverne. And she's going to get a whole load of stuff, actually. So next, use the wad of gum, which you disgustingly chewed earlier. Send that to Laverne. Use the fork and send that to Laverne. Next, use the crank, and send that to Laverne, and then use the fake barf, and send that to Laverne, and then next, use the chattering teeth, and send that to Laverne, and then I think we're actually finally done with this point, so Laverne has now got a whole heap of crap, and again, there's always methods to their madness emo, so... Go ahead, go outside, and we're going to go back down the dark passage, <laughs> inside the dark passage, uh, down to where Elmer Fudd is and the grandfather clock. So then, now we have to actually knock Elmer Fudd out, and since 
Bernard's arms are skinnier than an actual long thread, we are going to have to use the decaf coffee and put it with the mug when he puts it down. And for some reason and somehow, one sip of decaf coffee <laughs> knocks him the hell out. <laughs> Just because. Must help. Must sign. So there we have it. So off goes Mr. Fudd. He sleepwalks upstairs, but <laughs> that is where we are going as well. Uh, yeah, we have to knock him out to save him from himself. And it's all going to come to fruition. So go upstairs and go into the room Mark W. And what we need to do now is we need to use the dime. And you can just see just above where the guy's sleeping. It's the Fickle Fingers coin slot. <laughs> Fickle Fingers. Uh, use the other dime as well on it. You have to do that. That'll get this guy off and we can actually use the sweater that he's sleeping on and Judging by the look of him Yeah, that probably needs a wash or three Ew, it's wet. <laughs> Because the little butt cracks been on it as well. Blech. Disgusting So next up we need to be getting a lot of dimes and how we do that we need to you don't have to look at the candy machine we need to use the crowbar with it though and there we go we're just thieving our way through life god if only it was that easy and we could get away with it then everybody would be doing it Nineteen sixty eight. Thank God we didn't have to watch all of that then. So up the stairs we go now. Uh, what we're going to do is actually go into the doorway, which uh, is opposite where we got the stamp and stamp book earlier on and we'll see nurse Edna in here click on her once uh, actually click click the push nurse Edna <laughs> and she goes flying it's funny that she doesn't even come back she only would have gone in the next room so he must have kicked her bloody hard so now we can use the videotape then with the VCR not the monitor because <laughs> the VCR doesn't work with the monitor then we can use the VCR now what you have to do is Press the red button, which is the record button, and just watch the scene play out. It'll do it automatically anyway. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. And then when it gets to the end around now, what you have to do is press the rewind button there next to the eject button. You don't know what a rewind button is. And then click it down from SP to EP and then press the play button. So it basically slows it right down. And I don't know why, I just keep creasing at the doctor's face right here. It's, it's gloriously hilarious. Once we're done here then, press the eject button, that'll give us the videotape back, and now we can actually go and talk to the ERS guys upstairs, the IRS guys, so go upstairs rather than down. And there's only one question we need to ask these dudes actually, so click on the I IRS agents, talk to, and then ask them, are you guys brothers, and that unlocks us another achievement. Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean. Good thing we got that. So once that's unlocked, we're all done here. Just go back downstairs. 
And we're going all the way down the stairs. I love the way he walks as well. I don't know why, it's just hilarious. Everything in this game is just hilarious. And I appreciate that. You can't beat a nice bit of hilarity, mate. So, down the stairs, down the stairs, back through the main double doors. Where it says, welcome. Through, through, through the double doors. Through the swinging door. And then through the door on your right. This is where the washing machine is. So what we're going to do is actually put the uh, sweater. The disgustingly sweaty, hanging fat guy sweater. Well, it doesn't look like the, the, the sweater that the fat guy was uh, going on. So we'll put it in the dryer. Sorry, not the washer. And then what you need to do is get all of your quarters from earlier on. Use all the quarters. And I mean, that was a lot. That was a lot of quarters. I mean, how much... <laughs> that's just going to shrink that. Which is the whole point of it, anyway. So we're back out. Back through the swinging door. We're going to go up the fireplace now. Because we need, again, like I said, we need to go up the fireplace or down it with three of the kids. I'm going to come here for the story anyway. So go through the window. And you see Big Ed there is looking a bit, uh, a bit tied up. So we'll pick up the rope. Which is just incredible. Bernard there, just one... One I bet he's fantastic with a bra, isn't he? Ah, doesn't even doesn't even need to touch it. He is a pimp. Anyway, back outside, we're going to use the rope, and we're going to use it with this pulley right here, and then we can go back down the chimney because what we're going to be needing, and again, this is where the red paint comes into it. We're going to paint cousin Ted dead Ted outside. So that's where we're off next. Except we're going to go into the right-hand side door first, sorry. Whoops, my bad. And then we're going to actually go into the safe. So we're going to open the safe. Don't worry, again, this happens automatically. You don't have to worry about um, anything. And we'll just pick up the contract. That unlocks us the rap sheet. Yeg. Yeg. Now you can go through the door. And now we can head actually outside. And how's the music doing? Are you getting pissed off with the music yet? Good. Awesome. Me too. Me too. So, uh, don't worry about the bird bath. We're not trying to look at the bird bath. But we are going to be using the red paint. And we're going to use it with Dead Cousin Ted. Kind of sounds like an 80s boy band, doesn't it? Right said Fred, Dead Cousin Ted. Ted is red. Mm. Is he red? Ted is red. Hmm. Anyway. So, dangling rope. We're going to be using that now. <laughs> you can use my dangling rope if you want, said Bernard to his dead cousin. Weird. So then we're going to pop back inside, head through the double doors again, climb up the chimney, and smash your way through the window. But of course, before we smash our way through the window, pull the rope up, and that will get our cousin dead Fred, right said Ted, up here, by the neck. Awesome. Ooh. And then this time when we climb up the fireplace, now we can, well not smash our way through, but we'll gently climb in. Anyway, as to not make a noise. So, click on Ted. We're going to use Ted with Dr. Fred on the bed. And that is what I just said. So, Ligma. Oh, damn it! Anyway, this uh, <laughs> little cutscene is going to play out. A few things are going to happen. The IRS guy is going to be like, mm, what's going on in here? And for some reason, you stick it, Bernardo, sticking his arm up, um, seems to work, happy day, so, we can get away with that. Sweet enough, and then what we need to do now is, <laughs> nice smile, what we need to do then is use the rope on Dr. Right Fred said.
Then we're going to climb out of the window, use the pull rope option again, and then this time you'd think he'd learn his lesson from the last time after not falling to the ground. Unluckily, it doesn't work that way this time for him again. Unlucky! Oof. Dr. Fred? Are... Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the... Fair play to some of that strength on Bernardo. He's managed to get his head knocked in through the ground and still carry Fred well enough to come back through the grandfather clock. Incredible steroid strength on him. But anyway, enough for Bernardo for now. We're going back to Laverne. And I bet the technical guards like, God damn son, that was a good half hour dump you just had. Hey, it's, it's a half hour dump normal? I'd say it's normal. Anyway, we're going to go back in, we're going to talk to the tentacle guy again, and we're going to say, ooh, I don't feel so good again. And by the way, I don't get those people who take like, you know, a minute and a half dumps and then they're good to go. Bruh. Toilet time is very special. Anyway, now we're here, we're going to go through the door, and then here is the fireplace. So, so the layout is the same, but obviously it might be a little bit more confusing. Um, but here we go, this is where the achievement unlocks then. The WWSCD, that's for getting everyone through the chimney. And what we need to do now is use the crank with the crank box, which of course Bernard would have picked up. And use that crank. There we go, there we go. Working hard, honey. And grab the flag. And then we're going to use that flag with Laverne. And then we can walk around completely freely now. Doesn't matter that we've got a tentacle, that we haven't got a tentacle face. We look tentacle enough that of course unlocks us another achievement so jump back down the chimney and we can free roam this biash so then from the fireplace we can now go through the door on your left we've got free reign of wherever so ignore these handsome lasses right here one of them's a lad lass by the way uh, ignore the guy we can just go straight past him now and this should look familiar. The ice machine somehow is still there thousands of years later and no one decided to pick it up or get rid of it. So, happy days. Uh, so you've got to look at it first and then we can actually pick up the frozen hamster inside. And we're going to be getting around three or four achievements to do with this little cute little fuzzball. Right, well, in just a hot second. So go through the door uh, behind the ladies and lad lady. And then go through the door on your right. And then what we're going to see is a microwave. This may look unfamiliar to you, but <laughs> the door on the right holds the, the dryer. And again, somehow, the sweater, which Bernardo uh, put loads of quarters in, nobody decided to take a look at that either. So that's still going. We'll pick that up and get an achievement. So what we need to be doing now is using the fork and we're going to use it with the microwave for another achievement. And next up we're going to be using the frozen hamster and then we're going to put him with the microwave. And he can actually go in but again that unlocks yet another achievement. There's a few things we're going to try and do but it's not going to let us do, thank god for that. That's not looking good mind, his eyes are looking a bit bulgy hun. Oh, but there you go. He's dinged. He's done. He's warm. <laughs> he didn't explode. So, don't avert your eyes, children. We are good. So, next up, what we're going to do is get the cold, wet hamster. We're going to use him with the microwave again for another achievement. And then for the next one, we're going to be using the rather uh, the sweater. And we're going to be putting that on the cold, wet, rather pissed off looking hamster, which turns him into a warm toasty cinnamon bun hamster and then use that warm toasty ham cinnamon bun hamster and then get him over to hoagie that unlocks the next achievement you don't actually have to go as hoagie i accidentally pressed the a button twice there we're going to be sticking with laverne so we're not allowed to microwave him and pop his head off we're not allowed to flush him and pop his head off so happy days so go straight <laughs> to the left door back where the grandfather clock is and the lad lady and the two ladies are and we're going to be talking to the guard this time and we're going to say, hi, I'm Laverne. And then say, yes, that's right. 
Jolly good. And then say, I'll be seeing you, bruh. Next, let's talk to the person in the tutu, the left most person. This is the lad lady, the Harold. So we're going to say, what are you uh, guys waiting for? And then next, say, hold that thought. We got a buggy. And then we're just going to go back through the door behind them. Get in touch. So go to the right, right here, past the fireplace, and just talk to the tentacle. We have a little bit of dialogue, and then we're going to be going back through the door on the left. And he going to think you're hot, girl. Yeah, that was one good... So from here, we're going to head our way all the way back upstairs past the guard, past lad lady and the two ladies, and then we're going to go inside the door marked R, which is the sort of middle of the three. I can't believe they're still marked R, W and F after all these years. So here's the mummy, dead cousin Ted, we're going to talk to the mummy, and that is going to unlock us an achievement, and just say, I really should go now, we don't have to talk to him, but dead cousin Ted with all three characters are done, so we don't have to worry about doing that now. But we're going to grab the extension cord, so pick that up. And we're going to be using this mummy to, well, win something right now. But pick up the roller skates on the right-hand side of the screen there. And then put the name tag. So use the name tag and then use it with mummy. You're ready to go now. Next, you're going to use the roller skates with the mummy and then push mummy square out the door. Epic pushing, yo. that went better than expected and we got an achievement out of it as well so you cannot complain so head out the door and then to the right side and up the stairway and this is where the competition is taking place but what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be dressing our mummy as you can see you got the two ladies lad lady and i don't know what the hell that guy is in the middle but use the wet soggy noodles first we're going to use that with mummy to create a nice hairdo with a bit of meat bow in it use the fork and then use it with the mummy. Or the mummy's hair we're going to be needing to use it on. So we'll try that one again. Use the fork with the mummy's head. Make sure it is the mummy's head rather than the mummy. Beautiful. Get that down your neck, girl. There it is. There it is. Protein! Next, make sure, this is very important, you've got to make sure to use the chattering teeth with the mummy first. Now, it's important because you will not be able to get this achievement and you'll have to go through uh, chapter select again to get to this point. But if you use the chattering teeth, that unlocks us an achievement and then obviously it doesn't work, so we need to use the dentures with the mummy. But again, make sure to use the chattering teeth first before you get this mummy gone, otherwise you'll have to come back and do it later on. So next we're going to use the box for laughs with the mummy. It sounds very convincing, by the way. It sounds like people when they're texting and they think something's hilarious when it's actually not. But we can now give the chattering teeth back to Hoagie. And what we can do now is use the fake bath with Harold, the lady in the tutu, the man and the lady in the tutu. And that'll get us the rap sheet cheat achievement for disqualifying Harold, which is fantastic. Ick. Now, I, I think I... Someone in here not feeling well? I was until I... Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you... But... You're a good... <laughs> What a mess. I... So 
So with Harold's big old wang out the way now, all we got to do is go to the right side. And all we'll be doing for the next sort of minute or two is going to the judges and then asking them when are we going to judge the best, it's the best hair, the best teeth, the best, the, the best laugh. So it's literally going back and forth for just a minute or so. Easy as pie. Wow, that's thick. And juicy. The mama win. Oh. Hey, Winnie. Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with there's nothing in the rules. First place goes to agreed. Hey, when are you got Oh, I'll Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in for <laughs> It's amazing how the mummy can do that with- I say we give him- Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go. He is- I'll miss it. It's time to give him his- Yes. So that's the competition over. That's the achievement unlocked. And I literally love how happy this mummy looks. Like- <laughs> What a, uh, to be fair, Laverne done a top job there with dressing that mummy up because it looked delighted. <laughs> so anyway, we've we've done now with Laverne for the time being. We can now go over to Hulk Hoagie and his tiny old butt crack over here. And what we're going to be doing is going back downstairs for now and we're going to talk to George Washington. So through the double doors here, talking to Big George. So actually, when I say we're going to talk to George Washington, I mean what we're going to do is actually use the exploding cigar with George Washington. You're going to try and kill one of the founding fathers. Hmm. Nah, it doesn't kill him, it just sort of spits his teeth out with a hilarious inside face expression. Now, watch. Blast, I hate. See if you can. Could you use the. Why, thank. Strange. Hey, Tom, look, the father. You're right. Huh? I guess you. Me? You. Be... I'm bothered. I'm bothered. No, you. No. 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 You big bait. <laughs> Did you see the inside face expression? Hilarious. Anyway, we're going to pick up the blanket right next to the other two dudes right there. And we're going to just head back out through the door. And basically what we're doing is now going back up to the chimney. We can, uh, or the fireplace, even. Soon all the power of the heavens will be... So that is where we are going then, so it's just all the way to the right, up the stairway, right here, and then we're going to the left, sort of past the sleeping hall still, and obviously the reason that we can't actually climb up the fireplace this time is because, well, there's a fire going on, and Hoey doesn't look like he has the best uh, cardio or shape to be really quickly clambering up the fireplace, but there we go. So we're going to use the blanket and we're going to put it on top of the chimney. And that's going to cause a ruckus downstairs, and we're basically, that's going to get all the founding fathers, the three of them, it's going to make them run out. But at least one of them's warm now. Okay, I say run out, I mean smash through the window. Honestly, it's hilarious. Okay, who was the idiot?
that was uh, uh, that was me and my butt crack. Sorry, we did that. So what we're going to do is just literally head outside, and all we'll be doing then is just talking to the three founding fathers to unlock yet another achievement, and then we can come back into the inn and grab the golden quill, which we couldn't before because it's stealing, and stealing's wrong apparently. No, no, stealing is wrong. You steal, you get a nosebleed. That's that's just how it goes in life. I, be I wonder what idiot started the fire. Uh, leave me open. I hope we can get back to work soon. So there we are then, job's done, job's a good one. We are going back into the inn inn, or the cock inn, or the weenus inn, whatever you want to call it, the inn is up to you. But head back through the double doors, the main hall, head to the right, pick up the golden quill, and then what you can do then is send that to Bernardo, because he needs it. Gold-plated quill pen, very posh, very posh. And then send it, like I said, to Bernard, because he's going to need it more than we are right now. And the reason being, it's going to get us another achievement. So, use the gold-plated quill pen and use it with the contract. Sadly, it won't work because we cannot forge Dr. Wright said Fred's signature, but it will get us the rap sheet forger achievement. So, what we're going to be doing now is use the boo boo be gone and then use that with the contract. That also gives us another achievement, the rap sheet fraud achievement. And then once again, use the gold-plated quill pen and use it with um, Hoagie. You can just send it straight back to Hoagie. We literally only needed it for an achievement. So now Hoagie needs it more than we do. And then the last thing to send for the time being is the Boo Boo Be Gone. And we're going to send that to Laverne. So flush that down the old bogness. And that is it for now. But what we are now hilariously going to do. I mean Fred's been out for a long time from decaf coffee. I didn't know decaf coffee could knock you out that much. But... We're going to use the funnel, we're going to use it with Fred, we're going to stick that down his neck and he's going to sort of pop eye us up now because we're going to get regular coffee down his neck and somehow that is going to light a regular old booster coffee rocket up his ass. And of course it unlocks us another achievement because why wouldn't it? And get your pop eye out boy. Seriously now, has anyone ever had coffee that good without having the incredible shites afterwards? Because I reckon his shits are going to be incredibly painful. So we're going to use the contract now and we're going to use it with Dr. Fredo Bini. Uh, he's not going to do it, but what we're going to say is, oh forget it, I'll get rid of the purple tentacle myself. And then for the next dialogue option, choose the third option, I offered purple tentacle a bribe and he took it, which... Now, when you're thinking about that, kind of a mistake. <laughs> there it is. Thanks, boy. Well, good luck. So, that's signed. We're going to use that signed contract now, and then we're going to flush it down to Hoagie. I mean, this literally probably all could have been avoided if Fred had just signed the contract in the first place. But that's okay. Screw him. We got this. So we're going to head up the stairs now, slowly but surely, there we go. And is the music treating you any good? Good, because it's still pissing me off at this point. Now we're going to go to the right hand door here, and we're going to click over to Hoagie now. It looks pretty sad, did you? No, I... I found a blank. Son, do you know anything? Uh... 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 So when you head back out and then head back in, what we can do is actually use the wine bottle with Thomas Jefferson. Of course, make sure that you are actually, you know, in Thomas Jefferson's view. <laughs> Otherwise, you ain't going to give it to him. So we'll try that one again. There we go. So 
wine bottle, use it. We'll try for a third time if you want. Use the wine bottle with Big Tom J. And he is, well, let's just say he's happy with that, yo. He is happy with that. So head on over to the left. We're going to go back out of the door now. And then out the left door again. So we're going to be outside. And what we need to do is use the stamp. And we're going to be using that with the uh, contract, with the signed contract. So that's signed, sealed, delivered. And we're going to use that signed contract with the letterbox. Or the mailbox, sorry. Whatever you decide to call it. Ooh, well, goddamn, that's quick service. Holy shot. Yes? What? Hi there. Who did you... This is Farley. Uh, for the use... What? This is Farley. No. Oh, right now. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Right then, so next up, after that little cutscene, we're going to go back to Laverne right now. So Hulk Hoagie is done for now. So we're going to head out the door. The mummy, like I said, you don't need to deal with anymore. And then just head to the left into the door with the W on it, which stands for Willy, Weenus, whatever you want it to stand for. Anyway, we're going to use the can opener now. And we're going to use that on the time capsule, which is on the right-hand side, standing proudly until we go ahead and butcher it and ruin it. Nice. And sadly, the only thing, there's no money in here or anything. There is just vinegar. So we'll be picking that up to get us an achievement. And then we're going to be sending that vinegar straight over to Hulk Hoagie. And we're going to get a few more miscellaneous achievements now, all to do with the cat. So head out of the door, down the stairs. Of course, there's not going to be any guards. There's going to be nobody here. At, well, apart from that guard, I mean the contestants on the settee. Nobody's there. Head out left to the door. What does Laverne always look like? She's about to piss herself, by the way. <laughs> Hilarious, again. This game's fantastic, honest. So first things first, here's the cat. We're going to use the boo-boo be gone with the... Uh, fence, sorry, <laughs> not the cat, so we'll use the boo-boo be gone with the fence. So, oh right, I'm playing a cartoon, because it doesn't always have to make sense, but we have made a skunk, somehow. I wonder if anyone could make that work in real life, mind. But now what we need to do is actually interact with the cat and get it the hell back down. And uh, the way to do that is by using the squeaky mouse toy. So use it with the former cat. Which is now Am's skunk. And there you go. Now we can just apparently shove it straight in our pocket with no issues. <laughs> so we're going to um, use the fork. Sorry, we're going to use the fork. We're going to use it with the cat. And that's just going to get us an achievement. <laughs> the ESRP violation achievement. I love whoever comes up with these achievements. I do. I love you. Seriously. Anyway, back through the main doors. We're going to go up now to the kennel. The kennel be in the prison, of course. And this guy somehow doesn't recognize it's us. And we're going to say, I'm here by accident. Bye. He's tamping because we rejected him. So, up yours, buddy. So, we don't need to go out of the kennel. I was trying to get the switch. So, use the dinner certificate. And then use it with the tentacle guard. I can't wait to tell my wife. And you can't beat a free meal. Whoever the hell you are, you cannot beat a free meal. So he's happy with that. That's going to let him go. We're going to push the switch now and get rid of the force field. But they're happy staying there until what we're going to do. Somehow they're scared of a skunk cat. So that's exactly what we're going to use. Use the cat and they're going to scarper like Dr. Fred's bowels after he had that goddamn coffee. Hey, look. A skunk. Come back here, you m You come- This is- Who said- So from here then, we're gonna head through the left door now in order to go in the right one and this time we're actually going to head through the old grandpappy clock for the first time so you don't need to look at it we're just going to use it open it and then jump on through we're going to get 
another achievement. I mean, nobody's ever sick of the sight of achievements popping, are they? And if they are, then you're in the wrong game, I'm afraid, bruh. So, now we're going to use the extension core that we managed to pick up earlier on. And we're going to use that with the generator. So, click that boy in. And then, again, what we're going to do is pick up the extension cord. Yet again, that's going to unlock us the achievement right here. Rap Sheet. Adventure Gamer. That's picking up for 45 things that don't belong to you. Again, we've got a few more things to pick up, so don't worry if you haven't got it yet. But, again, use the extension cord with the generator. And this time, what we're going to be doing is feeding it basically through the window. So when we use it, puck it up through the window in the right hand top corner. And now we are golden nuggets to go. Use the toasty warm hamster next with the generator and that will sort of power that up lovely. <laughs> and punch the crap out of us as well. Well, that went well, right? Close enough. So, after unnecessarily being Mike Tyson punched the crap out of, we're going to use the Hoover, or what is called the built-in shop vac, that's very posh. Uh, we're going to use it with the hole, we're going to get another achievement for sucking off the mouse, sucking up the mouse, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> And then on the built-in shop vac, you uh, look at the hatch, open up the hatch, grab the dust ball, so pick up the dust ball, blow him off, up to, <clears throat> I mean, blow him off, you, you know what I mean, blow the dust off, god damn you dirty sons of biatches. And then use the dusty warm hamster yeah. with the generator. And this time we should be unpunched in the face. Look at nice. that sucker go! Then all we need to do then is just head upstairs. We're basically going to head outside to the Chronogon and we'll get an achievement for powering it up. So we are coming to the end now. We're about 16, 17 minutes away now from the end. So we're done for now, we're going to switch back over to Hulk Hoagie for the time being. And then the only thing that we need to do is we're going to use the bucket full of soapy water and then use it actually on the carriage. So we should have the uh, bucket full of soapy water used on the carriage. That'll unlock us the achievement and then a little cutscene with Big Ben Franklin is going to play out. Looks like. See that? Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? Even science sounds. But how, yeah? To be fair, the science much like back to the. What a genius. So, we're going to need to help him with a little experiment. One that apparently he's famous for, something to do with kite, lightning, and electricity, etc. Uh, but for now, we're going to head down the grandfather clock first, speak to Big Ed Red. And first thing we're going to be doing then, we're going to use the oil and we are going to use it with Redison Edison. Ah, eh? And then next, we're going to have to use the vinegar. So head on over to the vinegar, use it and then use it with Big Red Ed. And then the third item is what he needs, is the golden quill, the gold-plated quill pen. Which, of course, we sent to Bernardo earlier on, and then sent it straight back. So, he's going to make us some big old battery. He's going to lose his... he's going to go nuts now. With a smile like that, and an array of items like that on him, then... Uh, <laughs> you know we're in for some trouble. Miracle. 
So, of course, we need to actually pick up the battery. If you don't pick up the battery, then, you know, you ain't gonna get any further, and then the whole world gets destroyed, and then it's your fault because you didn't pick up the battery. So, you know, just, just pick it up, okay? Right. So, with Hulk Hoagie, then, we're going up the stairs, and out of the three doors that are open, we're going all the way to the right side one, which is where Big Ben Franklin is. Now, for some reason, we need to give him his lab coat, but for some reason, if you use the lab coat, it, he just kind of says it looks kind of small. So what we actually need to do this time, we need to use the pick uh, option. So saying using the lab coat just will not work for whatever reason. He just keeps saying it looks kind of small for me. I thought he was on about a condom or something, then, to be honest. But for this time, we actually need to use the give lab coat option to Ben Franklin. That's the only way that will work. So you can't use the lab coat. You can only give it to him, but then he can uh, make it into a kite, which is a waste of a good lab coat. Eureka! The all-season Franklin... No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! Okay then, so this is a slightly timed section, so as soon as Benjamin Franklin starts going off, immediately go into the inventory, get out your battery, and then use the battery with the pocket on the kite, and as soon as he says now, use it, press it on, and then immediately click on the pocket, and then use the push pocket option. And then that should get it going. Again, if you do end up missing it, you can just basically replay it as many times as you want. Again, apologies if that was <laughs> sort of fast-paced there to explain. Um, but, it's, you know, it's very easy enough. And you can do it as many times as you want if you do end up messing up anyway. Now, Yeah. No, I... Which... I never got... It's... Nice working with... God. So that's our little fling ting with uh, Ben Franklin done. Now we need to pick up the fully charged battery. And where we're going to head is back up to the Chrono Majono. And uh, get this missable achievement. There's like a million missable achievements. Okay, it's not a million. There's about 50. Uh, but we need to use the battery and we need to use it with the Chrono John. Make sure it says use battery with the Chrono John. And that'll get us the that should have worked achievement. This time we're going to use the battery again though, and we are actually going to use it with the plug, which is just to the left right there, and that'll get the Chrono John smoking. And so then, for this next bit, what we are getting now is the Master Plumber achievement, and that is for flushing 50 items down the Bognus Regis. And you can literally do this with everyone, so there's no right or wrong way to do this, so we just go as Bernard. And all we're going to do is literally um, flush everything that we can. So we go on the whatever item it is, use that item, give it to Hoagie or Laverne. And then when you've run out of items, go to the next character, flush it back to Bernard, flush it, flush it back to Laverne. And until we get the achievement, and I'll obviously let you know which items we actually need with Bernard to carry on. But for now, just keep flushing everything you can down the toilet. And then when you're done with Bernard, again, switch over to the next character and continue. It will take a couple of minutes to unlock this one, mind. But enjoy the music. <laughs> oh, wait, we're back to the good stuff now. Cool. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, since we are basically finishing off the game with Bernard, just as Laverne and Hoagie, just, just give everything that you can back to Bernard. And that should be literally enough items for us to finish the game. But as soon as we, I think we are just about coming up to the achievement now, as soon as we give the red paint over, it'll be one of them. Uh, maybe we've got to give a few things back first then, so we can't use the text, oh, we can use the textbook. So the textbook's good, the can opener's good to go, and there it is then, there it is. So that's the Master Plumber achievement, and what we're going to do straight away then is pick up the phone which is on the desk, and that'll get us the flush achievement. So use the phone, and that'll get us the flush achievement. Now of course it really depends, if you've been following the guide, you know, you should have had that Master Plumber achievement roughly around the same time I did there, but you may get it a little bit earlier, a little bit later, but you should get that. So there we go, we've got ourselves a diamond. And now, quite the quite the long cutscene is just about to play out. So again, I would have cut down a few minutes. Um, again, it's around six, seven, eight minutes in real life, but of course I've just cut it down, cut time on the video. Uh, I've left this achievement in though. This is where finally <laughs> we get the achievement for playing the music throughout the entire game in the present, so now we should be good to go. Don't worry, guys. So this is where the long sort of cutscene ends. We're really, literally, basically the end of the game now, and we're going to see this old tentacle guy. I mean, literally, you could have probably just... We've got three heads on one body now. <laughs> Again, no spoilers. Uh, I'll just let you enjoy that one for itself. But we could have easily just knocked him down and ripped his beard off, but that's okay. So, go into the door labelled R. And what we, what's going to happen is we're going to be shrunk down to size. Take that. Take that. Awful band. Awful band. <laughs> And only real, basically only British people get that. But we're going to head through the R door now anyway. So as soon as we're through, and then there's the mouse hole just underneath the picture at the back there. So that's where we're going to go through. You'll have to do it, I think, quite quickly because there is a slightly time limit on the shrink ray evaporating and then we become big again. So obviously just get in here. You've got quite a bit of time anyway, but just wait until you uh, get big again and then we can pick up the bowling ball. That is going to come in handy, and then open the door, and then leave, obviously. So, Purple Bellen Head has gone. So, where we're going to go down is right back down the stairs. And then, quite the satisfying ending is coming up. Use the bowling ball with the tentacles who are all lined up in a row for some reason and then watch another cutscene, quite a long-ish cutscene before we have to do I think one more bit of gameplay before another long cutscene will ensue and of course you know what I mean when I say cutscene I mean you can skip just bash through all the dialogue now with the old guy well I'm certainly glad that yeah Lee You humans are so short-sighted. Ha 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 Eek! Run all you like, you in- My other selves are taking over the world. And last, last, tiny bit, we now need to just talk to the pental- uh, pe pemple turtle? Purple Tentacle, we'll try that one again. So, say just what is it that you have against humans anyway, the first dialogue option. And then it sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, the last option. Then the first option again, you're pretty handy with that ray gun. And then use why don't you shoot Dr. Fred with it if you hate him so much, which again is the bottom option. 
and this is how we destroy the old guy who is looking rather skinny and could probably suffer a heart attack anyway. But quicker and easier to do it this way, I suppose. Surely we can talk. Hmm. Talk? Sure. Wait. You haven't heard the last of me. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, little fella. Our work here now we can. So that's the end of the game then. We again have to go through the epilogue. So again, remember not to cut, uh, not to skip any cutscene at all. I've obviously only done it to save a little bit of time. We're just going to see how <laughs> Dr. Fred sorts us out, really. But hopefully you would not have skipped absolutely any cutscene in the game because that will get us an achievement at the end. And then also for the credits, we cannot skip the credits either. So... Even though there's only about a minute and a half left in this video, it's actually going to take at least just over 10 minutes, I think, to get rid of this uh, epilogue cutscene and the whole credits to watch. Well, I'm glad. Looks like... So as you would have seen then, you would have got the Mental Patience Achievement, and then also you will get the Take On The Words, which is for sitting through the entire end credit. Again, you should be able to just go back to it if you accidentally skipped it anyway, but always better to get it done out of the way. Now we should only have one achievement left, and that is, just like in Full Throttle Remastered, getting uh, every single achievement in the game, and the way to do that as we'll be able to see now, the OCD achievement, there it is. And the way to do that, again, just like in Full Throttle Remastered, all we need to do is simply start a new game. So, that's all you got to do. Start the new game, the OCD achievement will unlock, and then you will get all of the achievements. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope this video you enjoyed, and it did help. Again, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my socials. Twitter, Instagram, Patreon as well. All the links are provided in the description below. A big massive thank you to all my uh, Patreon supporters, especially Tim G84. Good looking out guys. Thank you so much once again. Shall see you in the next one. Big love.